All right, welcome back in, everyone. So, today, flower pots, you're thinking, but, but, we have all these. Why are you doing all these? Because all these are the same six plants over and over and over again. And actually, if you do the little ones, it's only four plants. But it's the same exact six plants in every different pot. Which, do not misunderstand me. Thank you, Keen Games, for putting these in the, in the game. I am happy to have them. They make uh, what we can put in the game so much uh, better. But, maybe you want something else. So today, I'm going to show you the absurdly easy way to plant these. I'm still working on trying to figure out how to do it on a table. It's much more difficult if you want to try to do a table. But doing it on a, a surface, stone, wood, something like that, a shelf that you built, not a shelf you place on the wall, shelf you built, is actually very, very easy. So what we're going to do, I'm going to start, we'll go right over here. And we're going to, let's see, what do I got in my bag? Sure. So we're going to use dirt, and we're going to place down one. And then we're going to place down two. So we got two high. This is the same thing that I learned from that one video a while back, how to plant it correctly. So here is something I didn't actually, I didn't really know. So normally over there I was doing this kind of thing. Uh, or I would do this and then I'd put the big old chunk. Let's see, it was, let's go back to this. This is the other way I did it. You would put the, uh, either that or that or that down and then you would have to go and chunk off all the excess like if you're doing a bathtub for example uh, since this is for a tiny thing you can actually use this and it works perfectly fine so let's get back let's grab our we got a bronze jug here now there's two ways you can do this and weirdly enough I didn't realize that these small furniture items did this put snapping on it will put it perfectly like exactly perfectly where you need it then we're gonna go let's do this beat for example with snapping still on it plants it perfect you don't have to sit there and fudge with it like with snapping off you're kinda like oh let me get it just right no I don't like it there no no it's not there it's not good oh I don't like it put snapping on bam done and then the very last thing that you do we're gonna hit Y one time that's it. Now, word of caution. You need to stay logged in on this save for at least a little while after doing this. If I immediately log out and go to a, say, let's say I go to my public resource world because I want to grab more seeds because, oh man, that was really cool. Let's go do a whole bunch of things. And I come back, that's going to disappear. I didn't sit here and count the seconds how long you have to stay on, but just stay on for a little bit. Now, there's a problem too. This beet seedling, you can see, is not going to have this problem. Saffron isn't too bad. I mean, it's clearly coming out of the pot itself. But, like, look at the um, ar ar arola. I don't know that word. Um, you've got the strawberries here. Look at, look at all the, the uh, roots coming out. Or you've got... Uh, this is the tin pot, and <laughs> look how the mushrooms are hovering. So, or the, uh, what's a sugar cane? One of the stems is coming out perfectly. The other two are just hovering out of the back, and then you got all of the roots sticking out. So, there are still problems doing it. Even this one, this is a pot, or a, um, a pail, that's the metal pail. And then... This one over here is one of these actual pots. I use this um, pot belly pot over here, and it still sticks out. So, sure, it's not as clean as doing these over here, but it does give you additional options, and it works out really well. All right, thanks for watching.